Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NXCAM. This video will demonstrate how you can now trim and extend engages and retracts to the specified minimum clearance distance. This gives you more control over how the minimum clearance distance is applied and is particularly useful in avoiding plunging into rough material while engaging into an irregular shape. First, we'll look at the new minimum clearance user interface. Double-click Cavity Mill to edit the operation. Click Non-Cutting Moves. In the Open Area and Initial Open Area sections of the dialog box, Minimum Clearance allows you to apply the Minimum Clearance Distance using Trim and Extend or Extend Only. Retracts currently use the same settings as engages. Next, we'll observe the behavior when engage length is set to zero and minimum clearance is set to none for open area engages. Click OK in the Non-Cutting Moves dialog box. Click Verify. Click Play. The tool plunges into rough material for each engage because there is no engage length or minimum clearance. Click OK in the Toolpath Visualization dialog box. Change the view orientation to top and click Edit Display. Select 2D from the Tool Display list. Click OK. Click Replay. Again, notice that the tool plunges into the rough material for each engage. Specifying a linear engage length will prevent some of the plunging into the rough material. Click Non-Cutting Moves. In the Open Area section of the dialog box, type 100% Tool in the Length box. In the Initial Open Area section of the dialog box, select Same as Open Area from the Engage Type list. Click OK. Click Generate. The Engage Length eliminates plunging into the material for some engages but does not eliminate it for others. For those engages where plunges have been eliminated, the engage motion is sometimes longer than necessary. You can further prevent plunging into the material by specifying a minimum clearance distance or safe shape to which engages can be extended. Click Non-Cutting Moves. In the Open Area section of the dialog box, select Extend Only from the Minimum Clearance list and type 60% Tool in the Minimum Clearance Distance box. Click OK. Click Generate. Engages now avoid plunging into the material by extending to the specified Minimum Clearance Distance. Engages that extend beyond the Minimum Clearance Distance are not trimmed and remain the same length. Trim and Extend shortens and lengthens the engages to the specified minimum clearance. In this case, shortening the engages that extend beyond the minimum clearance will prevent wasted motion. Click Non-Cutting Moves. In the Open Area section of the dialog box, select Trim and Extend from the minimum clearance list. Click OK. Click Generate. By comparing, you can see that there is less wasted motion when engages are both trimmed and extended to the minimum clearance. Retracts currently use the parameters specified for open area engages. While these parameters allow engages to avoid plunging into the material, they result in wasted motion for retracts. In this example, the toolpath would be more efficient if the retract length was shortened and the minimum clearance was not applied. Click Non-Cutting Moves. 
select the Retract tab. In the Retract section of the dialog box, select Linear from the Retract type list. Type 4 mm in the Length box. Select None from the Minimum Clearance list. Click OK. Click Generate. By comparing, you can see that there is less wasted motion when retracts use a short length and no minimum clearance. Lastly, we'll see how engages for initial open area and final retracts can be controlled separately. Click Non-Cutting Moves. Select the Engage tab. In the initial open area of the dialog box, select Arc from the Engage Type list. Type 8 mm in the Radius box and select None in the Minimum Clearance list. Select the Retract tab. In the final section of the dialog box, select Linear from the Retract Type list and type 25 mm in the Length box. Click OK. Click Generate. Note that when using Trim and Extend or Extend only, the minimum clearance distance will display the same value for all engages and retracts. Changing the value in one place will immediately reflect that same value in all locations. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now trim and extend engages and retracts to the specified minimum clearance distance. Thank you.